more rare earth mineral stocks you need to know, especially after that news yesterday. China controls over 90% of the world's rare earths, the metals that power EVs, phones, and defense tech. But four stocks outside China are quietly exploding in 2025. Make sure you save this post because you don't want to miss it. China just expanded export controls. Now 12 of the 17th rare earth elements are restricted. That move sent global prices surging and Western companies are racing to secure new supply, which could make these four stocks further skyrocket. Stock number one, Linus. Linus is the world's biggest producer of rare earths outside China. Its share price is already up 203% this year. They run Australia's MT Weld Mine in a massive processing facility in Malaysia. Stock number two, Meteoric Resources. Operating in Brazil, Meteoric's Calderia project. Am I even saying this right? Could supply up to 8% of global rare earth oxides. And the stock's already up 122% this year. Stock number three, Verdes Mining. Another Brazil player, Verdes Colossus project. And here we go again, has potential for 40 years of production. Investors love it, up 401% so far this year. Why didn't you guys tell me about all these rare earth mineral stocks last year? Stock number four, Arafura Rare Earths. I'm gonna start a marketing agency just to make the names of some of these rare earth mineral stocks easier to say. Back in Australia, Arafura's No Lands Project has deals with Hyundai and Kia, plus $1 billion in funding lined up. They're ready to build, once financing closes. And if you're excited about this bonus stock, make sure you give me a follow. Bonus stock number five, Lindian Resources. In Malawi, Lindian's project could run 45 years producing high grade NDPR for EV magnets, up 350% in 2025. These stocks are leading the charge to break China's rare earth monopoly. Investors are taking notice. Question is, which one dominates next? Let me know in the comments below if any of these stocks can continue to skyrocket after these big gains in 2025.